Here are the 10 best handhelds that you can buy in 2022. The first two are going to be for retro enthusiasts like myself and each are going to come with 2500 games pre-installed on them. They each have the RK3326 chip which is great for emulation. They both also have a 3.5 inch HD IPS display, a 64 gigabyte SD card. One of them is based off of the Game Boy Color and then the other one is based off of the Game Boy Advance. These are both from an awesome company and Bearnick, which I fully support. The batteries in these last around six hours during gameplay and there are a few options to actually choose from for each of these and overall for the price, they're pretty hard to beat. As always, the links to each of these will of course be down in the description. And if you do enjoy this content, leaving a like and even considering subscribing is also always appreciated. The next two I wanna say, unlike the first two, I personally have not purchased. However, judging the reviews and research on them, the company Petforu makes some really good budget handhelds. One of them comes with 17,000 games and it reminds me of the Steam Deck. It has the RK3326 chip, which is something that you're gonna see a lot of in budget handhelds. This has a five inch screen. It's got a 128 gigabyte SD card and it does support multiple open source systems. EE 4.3, Arcos, etc. And of course, this is going to be compatible with running all of the mainstream emulators. The other handheld from Pow Kitty is based off of the Nintendo DS. It does come with Android 11. It has a 5.5 inch touchscreen display. It has the 8 core Cortex A75 processor, but sadly, this one does not come preloaded with any games. However, I do have some older videos going over how to get ROM sets if you do not know how to do that. But if you just want to play Android games from the Google Play Store, then this one does have Wi-Fi and of course, it supports all of the Android games. The fifth handheld is my personal favorite budget handheld, that being the Dexery RG552. This is not only a handheld gaming console, but it's also a small computer. It's got a 5.36 inch HD touchscreen display. It has the RK3399 chip. And the biggest feature of this thing is that it supports dual system operation. You can play a ton of different Android games. It supports vibration motor like Wii, NGC, NDS, Saturn, Nintendo 64, DC, PSP, PS1, OpenBore, CPS1, CPS2, CPS3, FBA, Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pocket, GBA, GBC, GB, SFC, FC, MD, SMS, GG, MSX, PCE, WS, Transplant Games. I think you guys get the picture. It supports pretty much everything. This is a really awesome little console or mini PC to have and the company does offer a one year warranty as well standing by their product. The next two are for people that want a PC gaming experience and not just a little handheld for emulating the older consoles or just playing Android games. Most of you have probably heard of the Steam Deck which is always sold out but there are companies out there that make alternatives to that and one of them is 1x player which I do plan on reviewing with you at some point here in the future and then the other one is made by Petforu. The Petforu handheld comes with the i7-1195G7 processor. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It comes with Windows 10. It has one terabyte of storage and an 8.4 inch HD display. The build quality of this is awesome and it does come with a keyboard and a carrying case as a little bonus as well. This is going to cost you $1,419, so it is expensive but it is literally a handheld PC. And I think that the 1X player version is the better value. Spec-wise, they're basically identical. The only reason that I'm recommending the 1X player handheld is because personally, that is something that I own. But the Petforu handheld does have some very positive reviews. There's nothing negative to say about it. It's just personally, as a personal recommendation, I have used the 1X player handheld and I love it. And those are the only two handheld PCs that I would recommend if you're actually looking to play Steam games, Epic Games games, and all the other PC games that are available on an actual desktop computer or a gaming laptop. 
the other handheld PCs are just going to lead to a bunch of frustration. However, the first batch that we covered in this video are all great for emulation and playing Android games and just games of that nature. Anyways, the links to all of these will be down in the description. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, leaving a like is always appreciated. And if you enjoy this type of content, subscribing is also appreciated. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.